Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at seismic risk in the mountains, an unusual orbit descent event due this weekend, and the impact of solar storms on depression. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we left off yesterday with filaments erupting. They had their fun and behaved much more calmly since then, minor shifts in the corona only. While the sunspot situation remains moderate and not flaring anyway, there are a ton of plasma filaments still on the disk despite how many erupted the day before. No shortage of them here on the sun today, every one of those thin dark ropes can erupt producing a CME and they won't have a flare warning before they do like a sunspot. Plasma filaments are the major solar watch today. Up next folks. This is an odd one. Maybe you heard about the Russian craft that is set to re-enter the atmosphere soon after 50 years in a broken orbit. Current estimates are for it to come down on Saturday. They can't really pin down the timing or location better than that. It is expected to survive re-entry, potentially hitting the ground. We'll update this again tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can get some certainty and can monitor that re-entry. Up next, we're looking at the USGS hazard risk map for seismic events in the United States. It's the thin but dangerous fault cutting from Wyoming and Idaho down through Utah, and apparently that Utah section is at significant risk, could crack sooner than they thought. Paper is linked below. Luckily, they've all got six months of preps in that area. They'll be fine. And last but not least, folks, the study of geomagnetic field on depression. They found that normal geomagnetic activity and even smaller storm events were the sweet spot for depression in a good way. Increased hormone balance countered the disease, while both extreme solar storms and total lack of magnetic field both caused severe response conditions. In case you are new here, this matters because Earth's magnetic field is weakening approaching that hypomagnetic condition. But in that state, the sun's events have much more extreme impacts. The negative factors found here are all that's on the menu in the years ahead as this pole shift unfolds. Folks, come out to Observer Ranch this year. The family reunion vibe keeps getting repeated, just without your weird uncle who did something nobody talks about. Pole shift conferences and prepper days on deck, and don't forget about the Colorado Prepper Expo, October 10th through the 12th. Check the calendar, book your trip, and it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.